So here we've we've offloaded some data uh, from a light and occupancy logger. You can see that the raw data is a light and occupancy. We can also choose to plot light on uh, and occupy, light on unoccupied, all of this other information if we want to. So we will just it's going to be extremely busy, but this will this should show you the um, the power of the pie chart. This is again Hoboware Pro now. We're, we switched to Hoboware Pro. Hoboware, the free version would not have the it wouldn't show these um, these pie charts uh, icons here available. Below that, uh, we've talked about internal events in the past. One of the internal events that's really helpful is when the calibration was done or if the calibration failed. Uh, I will just turn on internal calibration just to show you what that looks like. But it's a way to um, track if your if your data is suspect, if, if the person actually decided to calibrate it in the field or not. Here we have our light on off and occupied unoccupied data plotted. You can see here in the data table everything is recorded this was not run time this run time was not selected so we're not tied to an interval we were just uh, logging uh, state data so that gets us down to that one second resolution we're always at a one second resolution however the run time takes that and calculates the total amount of light on off time versus total um, occupancy during that interval you can see here these are our internal event event or internal events um, when we calibrated the device in the field. Looks like it was done a couple of times. Just to make sure we got it correctly. And we'll expand that a little bit. And here in the XY plot, down at the bottom of the screen, we can see the this is the raw light on off data in black. And this is the raw, occupied, unoccupied data in blue. And then all the different combinations of light on, light off, occupied, unoccupied, uh, plotted above that. You can see that it's a bit complicated to, to, um, to Kind of analyze this data to find out what your your usage pattern and occupy uh, occupancy pattern may be. So again, this is Hoboware Pro. We're looking at this has the pie chart available, which is right here on the icon bar. You click on the pie chart. We can see the same data depicted over in a in a pie chart, where it's much easier to determine what our usage patterns might be. We can see that 51% of our of the time during this deployment, and again, by default, the time frame is the entire data file or the entire deployment. We can see that 51% of the time the lights were off and the space was unoccupied. 19% of the time the lights were on and the space was occupied. Again, this is 24-hour, seven-day-a-week data. You can see that 29% of the time the lights were on and the space was unoccupied and there was no time that the lights were off and it was occupied. So this pie chart, you can save this as an image. If you click on save pie chart, it will save it as an image for you. You can print it if you're connected to a printer, either a network printer or a uh, local printer. You can also change your time frame here, if you were only interested in, let's say we're only interested in a month's worth of pie chart data. So we'll go back and uh, that's 10, 8, 15. Let's go to 11, 8, 15. And we update the chart. We can see that now over this month, this is our occupancy and light patterns. Again, you can save this, print it, whatever you'd like to do. Or if you click here, it will reset it to the full time frame again and it's a very good tool for analyzing light versus occupancy data again this is in the state logging mode in the runtime mode the pie chart is not available we've also offloaded some data 
from a UX90005 that was recording light on off and occupancy data in runtime mode. So that's what we're seeing here in the plot setup screen. By default, Hoboware is enabling the percentage of time on during each interval for the light sensor and the occupancy sensor, or the percent of time on and percent of time occupied during the logging interval. This particular interval was set to 10 minutes. So what we'll see is we'll see the percent of time uh, the lights were on versus the time percent of time the space was occupied in each 10 minute interval. You can also select other series to plot such as the percent of time where the lights were off during each 10 minute interval. Zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it a little better. There we go. Uh, the actual time on or off during each interval. Same with occupancy. So I think for this exercise, we'll select the actual time for light and occupancy. Let's zoom back out again here and the time occupied. And as before, we could also plot internal events, uh, find out when it was calibrated. But for this, we won't do that. Click on plot. And there's our, our data. Here's our XY plot, which is, again, this is percent of, percent of time per interval. This is actual time per interval that it was occupied versus on. The tabular data is a little bit easier to understand, perhaps. Zoom in right there. So what you see in each 10-minute logging interval, for example, here, the lights were on 68% of the time during that 10-minute period. That equates to 6 minutes and 48 seconds of on time versus uh, the occupancy, the percent of time it was occupied during that period was 99.67 or approximately nine minutes. So that's how we would look at this data. And of course, you can always export that to Excel or filter it and save it as a Hobo project file.